Hello, today we'll discuss MRSA risk factors and it's important in pneumonia treatment. Why? Because there's different, different treatments for different patients. For example, those with MRSA risk factors, those with Pseudomonas risk factors, those with both risk factors, those with no risk factors and so on. So therefore it's very important that when a patient comes in, you need to know which type of risk factors these patients have. And today we discuss MRSA. MRSA. Multi-resistant Staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus. This is a bacteria that, as you can see here in the name, cocci, Staphylococci. Cocci are like circles that are connected to each other. And in sputum culture, this means that you take a saliva from the patient and then you send it to the laboratory and then you check it in a microscope. Then you will see clusters of, of these cocci. And this can be seen in the pathology lab and they will tell me now as a doctor that yes this patient have a gram positive gram positive means just that it's a color it's colored because there exists gram positive and gram negative this is just a coloring method and that pathologists do gram positive cocci in clusters in clusters and this is what the pathology lab will tell me now. And then I know that this patient have MRSA. And this takes a little bit time. So I will take the sputum culture of a patient that I suspect have a pneumonia. Now why? Because I want to see if the patient has MRSA or not. Because then I need to treat this pneumonia differently than I would if the patient does not have MRSA. The other thing that I can do with the patient is to ask him, did you have any MRSA before, known MRSA, then I just need to ask the patient. And this is also risk factor for MRSA. So it means either you have MRSA confirmed with pathology or you just ask the patient, did you have it before, like six months ago, one year ago and so on. This is, an also, this is also as as important as a positive MRSA. The third group of patient are those who did not have MRSA before, did not have any uh, gram positive results yet or did not have any sputum results yet so we don't know if the patient have MRSA but they have risk factors risk factors for MRSA and which are the risk factors those who are drug abusers so this is a needle representing drug abusers those have uh, th these are patients that have higher probability of getting MRSA. Those, for example, that are in the prison that are in prison, this will represent prison. Those, for example, that are making contact sport. So we have a lot of bunch of men who are uh, hugging each other and they are uh, playing football or they are playing rugby or they are doing MMA or any contact sport. So uh, karate or or any boxing or anything. These are contact sport patients and these have also higher probability. Uh, then you have homosexuals. So this will represent two guys that love each other. Uh, these, pa these type of patients all have a higher probability of MRSA, which means that I need to treat these patients as they would have MRSA. This is, this is enough, okay? Uh, to include the treatment for MRSA. Also, I have, th these are, these are then types of patients. Then I have types of diseases also that are also risk factors. We have end stage kidney disease. This is a, this is a kidney, end stage kidney disease. Then we have recent influenza infection, influenza infection. And then I also have those who have uh, who had a necrotizing pneumonia so necrotizing this is a special type of pneumonia necrotizing pneumonia and th there exists also another disease called empyema okay so necrotizing pneumonia empyema these are all diseases uh, end stage kidney disease, a recent influenza, and we also have antibiotics within the last three months. Antibiotics. I will write three months. 
Okay, antibiotics within last three months. So to conclude, a patient comes in and I ask him, do you do any sport activity where you are in direct contact with a lot of people? Yes, then you have a risk factor. And then yes, then I need to treat you against MRSA. Do you, do you, do you inject drug? Okay, this is a very harsh question, but do you take drugs? Do you do any kind of these activities that you inject yourself with drugs? Or it's obvious if, if a pr prisoner comes in to you, then, then, then it's obvious this is a prisoner. Yeah. Uh, homosexuality, this is a very, uh, sensitive question. So you cannot really start the anamnesis, the, the questionnaire with the patient and you cannot start with, uh, are you gay? Huh? You, you, the, the, this, this, this is probably the least important thing that you need to ask. Okay. But have it in mind that homosexuals have a higher risk. Okay. And then we look at the kidney disease. Does this patient have a kidney disease? Did the patient have an influenza recently? Did the patient take any antibiotics within the last three, min uh, th three months? Did he have a pneumonia? And especially, did he have any necrotizing pneumonia in the, in the, in the uh, previous month? Or empyema? This is another type of disease. Or, these were the risk factors. Or, is it known that he had an MRSA infection already? Or, did the pathology lab tell me that in the microscope we have seen gram-positive cocaine clusters? If any of these are positive, meaning they are true, then please direct the treatment against MRSA. Thank you very much for listening.